Hi everyone, this is Kamal. Welcome back to the official channel of Video Prague Flagger. New series of Video Prague Guide Tutorial is available in the channel where you can find a complete set of videos showing you how to create stunning videos from scratch in Video Prague Flagger. But before we delve into the journey, make sure you check out the link in the description box below to download the software for free. Alright, so now let's get the video started. Video Proc Flagger offers a professional audio editor to edit the audio tracks of your media files. Both beginners and pros can utilize this to make perfect audio files without hassles. Before editing audio, you should start a project in the first place. Press the plus icon on the upper left, choose the video and the music files in your local folder, then drag the video clips onto the video track and drag the audio clips onto the audio track. Now, the audio of the video and the music files appear on the timeline. Apart from that, you can drag video clips to the audio track to keep only the audio. After that, you can edit the background sound of the video clips easily. Click to select an audio clip on the audio track. Go to the toolbar under the preview panel, hit audio to open up the audio editor. Now, let's get to know everything about it in details. The first things that catch our eyes are the waveforms for the different audio channels. And the number of channels depends on the original audio file. Just like the shown example audio, most music files are stereo with two channels. So here we get two waveforms. On the left of the waveforms, there are two volume sliders and two square icons. FL represents the front left channel, FR represents the front right channel. Use the volume slider to control the volume for the relevant channel separately. Click on the square icon. You can lock the relevant channel. By default, both the front left and the front right channels are enabled and adjustable. But for instance, if you don't want to apply any changes to the front left channel, just click on the FL square button to lock it. After making the edits, enable the front left channel. You can notice its waveform doesn't change. Super convenient, isn't it? Look at the waveforms. They are all in green. This is because the entire audio is selected by default. Suppose you need to choose only a certain part. Simply move the mouse onto the top yellow line. When the mouse cursor turns into an arrow, press and drag to select the wanted section. Here we'll say the all select segments are in blue and the selected one is in green. Only the selected part is adjustable. When editing audio, you can use these three tools to improve editing efficiency. Zoom in selection, it can help you enlarge the view of the selected sections for fitting the available window size. Fit size, it can help you quickly change the view of the entire waveforms for fitting the available window size. Zoom in slider, use the mouse to drag the slider to zoom in or zoom out the waveform for fast navigation. The audio playback toolbar is under the waveform. You can use the tools available here to preview the audio in multiple ways. You can drag the progress bar left or right to the start position of the preview. Hit the play button, video prog flagger will start the preview from the current time to the end of the audio clip. The play button turns into a pause button. You can click on it to stop the playback at the current time. If you hit the stop button, you will stop the preview and return the play head to the starting point. You can also hit the play the selected button to preview the selected part in a flexible way. Or you can use the play unselected button to preview the unselected parts. Use the previous or next button to make more precise edits. Previous represents the previous 0.05 seconds of the current audio, and the next represents the next 0.05 seconds. Add a marker is another very useful button. Markers can help a lot with making sync to be videos. When you select a part of the clip and choose Add a Marker, you can add two markers at the beginning and the end of the selection. When no waveforms are selected, 
and you click on Add Marker, it will add a marker to the position where the plane stops. Suppose you need to remove markers in the waveform, simply click the Delete Marker button. The audio editing toolbar sits above the waveform where you can find the whole set of editing tools. We will need to delete an unwanted part of an audio file. Click on the delete button. The selected part displayed in green will be removed off. Suppose you change your mind, simply click on undo to undo the delete work. The redo button on the side from it can help you redo an action you have found on. In addition, click on Analyze icon, and you can see three options. You can edit your video to the beat of the music, auto-detected by audio beat and audio onset, and remove silences detected by audio silence. We will upload the detailed guide about audio analyzer. Come over to the middle part of the editing toolbar. There is a Select All button. Click on this button. You can quickly select all audio waveforms. The color of the waveforms will turn from blue to green. If you select a part of the audio, you can use the plus decibel button to increase the selected audio clip. You can use the minus decibel button to decrease the volume. The volume control button mentioned in the previous parts is for controlling the volume for a single channel. It's easy to tell their difference. If you need to mute the audio, Simply press the mute button. If you need to mute the unselected audio clip, click on invert mute. Another necessary feature when making the audio edits is adding audio fades. You can click on fade in or fade out or both to let the video product flagger automatically fade in or fade out the selected part of an audio clip. After making these basic edits, you can press the Equalizer button to enter a new panel for shaping the audio. You can also hit the Effects button to get access to the 13 different audio filters. We'll share more tutorials about Equalizer and Effects. Last, don't forget to click on Apply to apply all the changes we've made. Alright, now you have reached this video about Audio Editor in Video Prog Flagger. I think you have got a comprehensive understanding of everything. Don't forget to click the subscribe button to subscribe if you haven't yet. We will see you in our next guide tutorial. Hope you enjoy!